there's two ways that we can add code to a single page. There are so many reasons why you might want code to only apply to one specific page, but I'm not here to grill you on why you want to do it. I'm here to show you how to do it. So I'm going to take you on over to the screen and show you the two options that we have for adding code to specific pages. So our first option to add code to a single page is to go into pages and find the page that we want to apply the code to. So let's say that it's the about page. We'll go to here and then we'll click this cog. If we click this and then go to advanced, this is where we add our code. So it's page header code injection. To add CSS, what we want to do is write style like this. And then within there, we can put our CSS. So we can write it like we would if we were doing it in the CSS tab. So this is how we do that. And then if we want to add our HTML in, we add whatever tags we want. So, you know, it's, it's div, script, whatever it is, it can go in here. So that is where you can apply it solely to that page. Or we can do the fully CSS option, which I'll show you now. So what we want to do is download Squarespace ID Finder. I think I always call it Squarespace Block Identifier for some reason. I think there might be two plugins, but this is the one you want. Squarespace ID Finder. It's completely free. Give it a download and then it will show you collection ID, section ID, block ID. And it will come up like this. So when you're on a Squarespace site and you click this, it will show you all of the IDs. So yellow is collection, blue is section, red is block. It also says at the beginning what they are. So there should be no misunderstandings. Okay, so let's say I want to apply a code specifically to this page. We'll say the header. So if we go to design and custom CSS, and we would say header background black, we'd give that important. And then we just put asterisk to override everything. So we want to make it black. We hit save, but then we go to home where we want it to still be white. And the problem here is that we don't want it to be black on here. We want it to be white. So if we go back to the page that we want and then we go design CSS, what we need to do is wrap this in the collection ID. So we click Squarespace ID Finder, we click collection ID, and then what we do is we do collection and then we put a squiggly bracket and then wrap it in another squiggly bracket. And so it is applied just to this page. So you can see the header is black, but if we go to the home page, the header is white. If we go to the blog page, header is white. So this will basically say anything within this and this is only applied to this collection, which is the about page. So that is how you apply code to one single page two different ways. If you found this helpful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.